Now we'll take a look at how to set up a contract that's billed by the hour. This is probably a minority, not uh, usually not a lot of contracts here, but if you do bill anything by the hour, LMN time can track the hours right down to the minute and, uh, and bill correctly for you with minimal effort. Um, first thing to remember, we, we're going to set up the job. I'll assume you've done that already. We're going to jump to the tasks. Now, each task has a flag inside it that says track hours and rates for billing by the hour. It's really important to remember any hourly rate information or rate information for salting. or None of that shows up for the crew. You'll set it up in the behind the scenes. They're not going to see that, though, when they clock in. They're going to see what you name the rate. They're not going to see the amount of it. So if you've got something that's billed by the hour, in this case, I'll say, yeah, well, maybe we're, we're going to um, bill our, our plowing by the hour. So if I've got something for plowing, I'm going to turn this on. And maybe it's relocates removals. It doesn't matter what the task is. But I'm going to turn this on. So basically, whenever a crew clocks into this task, it's going to track those hours and apply a rate for billing by the hour. So that I'll be able to get a, you know, what did we charge for this? Or what do we need to charge for this uh, event? I'll click OK. And now I'm getting a warning that says, and you'll get this too when you set it up, this job has one or more tasks set up for hourly billing, but you haven't set up any rates yet. You must set up a rate in order for this to work. So I'm going to click OK. So that should prompt you to go to here. Now, again, if I had more tasks, if walks were also billed by the hour, I'll turn that on as well and hit OK. And again, it's telling me, hey, you need to set up some rates. So I'm going to go to my rates now. So this job has no rates because I haven't set them up yet. So what I want to do is go down here to the bottom right. And I'm going to hit add rates. Now, if you've already set up some rates in your database, they're going to be here. If you haven't, you just click the add new button. You can set it up on the fly. But I'm, I've set up a couple already, so I'm going to scroll down. So I've got a loader and a pusher rate. I've got a plow truck hourly rate. I've got a sidewalk crew hourly rate. And I've got a skid steer and a pusher hourly rate. So if this job would use a plow truck to do the plowing, possibly a skid steer. I'll put it on just in case, maybe. And we definitely would have a sidewalk crew on this job. Then I'm going to turn these three on. So when the crew clocks into a task on this job that's flagged as bill by the hour, it's going to ask them, what are you doing here? Are you driving the plow truck? Are you plowing the sidewalks? And that's how it's going to know what billing rate to apply to that time. So the rates are defaulted in your settings. But however, if I've negotiated different rates with uh, this particular customer, you can change these rates accordingly and you can hit OK. You can also change the rate here by just clicking on it, opening it. and uh, and changing that as well. So I've now set up three rates for this job, three possible different billing rates we could set up. Now, if I also charge, for example, for salt, like a per application, then I'm going to my activities and I'm going to have a, an activity for salt. So for instance, I'll set the, yes, that is billable and we're going to charge $200 an app and put yes. So now I've, I can also charge for salt as an app price over and above the billing by the hour. Um, but let's take a look at how that billing by the hour works in, in real time. What your crews are going to see is fairly simple. I'm going to jump to a timesheet now. What your crew would see when they're clocking time under this job is pretty simple. They're going to clock in. They're going to pick the job they're working on. Mine's here called hourly snow sample. We'll hit next. Who's there? And I'll put in a couple people just so you can see how the different rates work. And then I'll click next again. Now, what are we doing? At this point, it's not asking us about the rates. It's asking us about the tasks. If I take a quick look at this job again, I go to the tasks. We've set up two tasks. We're either plowing or walks. So it doesn't have anything to do with the rates yet, but it will in a second. Um, first, we're going to clock into the task. It's going to figure out, is this task billed by the hour? And if so, then it'll prompt us for the rates. So back to the timesheet. We're going to say we're plowing, but Mary's doing the walks. So then I go to next. And now it's asking us, what are you doing? So we could say Mike's driving a snow truck. Fred here's driving a skid steer and a pusher. And Mary is part of the sidewalk crew. And so what it's going to do is for each hour these employees are, or partial hour, these employees are on site, it's going to build their time times the rate we set up for these different uh, configurations for every hour they're built. So again, they're going to hit. So they're going to stay clocked in. And when they clock out, it's going to realize that, OK, they were there for X amount of time. And these were the rates they were working on. And what you're going to end up with now, this report is a different report. It's a different job. But what you're going to end up with 
is a report that looks like this. On Thursday, August 7th, this job in particular was removals and relocates. And I'd set up those very same uh, rates, a loader and pusher and a skid steer and a pusher, uh, not the walks, but loader and skid steer. Here's the hours we spent on that job that day. Here's the rates each one were to be billed at, and here's the total price. And then after I also factor in that we, they got charged for a plow and they also got charged for some salting, there would be my total event billing for that uh, particular day. Um, but when you're focused on the rates and what we are for this video right now, that's how it's going to come out. So they're going to clock in to the job. They're going to pick what rate they're working on. At the end, when they leave the job, they're going to clock out. Now it's going to know how many hours you've set up under the rate section of the job exactly what those hours are billed at. So it's going to take the hours from the timesheet, what they're billed at from the job, and give you a total price to make billing quick and easy. And that's how to set up a job for billing by the hour.